Well, I'm Ken Hudnell, and I'm Vice President and Director of Science for Medora Corporation, which makes the solar bees, which are being deployed here in the Robeson Creek uh, entrance to the Hall River. And what we're doing here is a study to see if 12 uh, solar-powered long-distance water circulators can suppress cyanobacteria in this area. Cyanobacteria is the cause of the official impairments in Jordan Lake, and they are also known as blue-green algae. Solar bees are solar-powered water circulators that there's a one yard diameter hose that goes down to a particular level in the water where you want to start bringing in water from that level and bringing it to the surface. And the water comes in not straight up from the bottom but from the sides to the unit. So it comes from long distances bringing in water at that level, bringing up 10,000 gallons a minute to the surface where it leaves the unit without turbulence to spread back out over the lake. And the units are deployed one unit each 35 acres, which has been shown to be sufficient to suppress cyanobacteria in most areas. So that's our goal here. We want to suppress cyanobacteria and eliminate the official impairments in Jordan Lake.